landscape is different than the landscapes of most buildings. We recreated uh, about a two to one, maybe greater ratio of new habitat and new wetland systems here on common ground. So it supports the human vitality principle, which is having things that are good for nature and people, not one over the other. If we plant an invasive species, we might get one or two before it starts to eat up the entire place and there's no room for any natives or other types of plant species. So an issue at Common Ground has been water runoff coming down the hillside and running into the brook across the street. So where a raindrop falls, uh, we try to infiltrate that, direct them into bio uh, cells, swales, and rain gardens. Native species are planted in these bio swales and will help absorb the toxins and pollutants that have been picked up along the way. And then as it's sitting in the pool of water, the water will be soaked back into the ground instead of running across into the brook. The landscape also is shown to increase productivity where there's green plants all around. And it's also shown to increase just a general sense of well-being among the students at Common Ground. So tell me this now, what is the opposite of monoculture? The opposite of monoculture is Common Ground. The answer is diversity.